Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Xilinx Vovado design tool to create a real FPGA project. We will use the block design and the Whiters SDK to create a demo project that use some IPs. We have the CEA A61 text generator and the Xilinx general interface video Max and we use the Xilinx Zing demo board to create the HDMI output from these uh, blocks. Let's create a project from the Vavado. We will use the Zing 706 as the text platform, so we create a new project from there. And then at this moment, we can select the board Xilinx already have some predefined demo board. You can create your own demo board put in this list. We will use the ZC706 email board for today's demo. When the project is created, all the boards, connections, and parameters are already predefined in the Vivado tool. We create a new block design on this platform. First, we add the Zing processing system in the block. Vavado can make some auto connections with all the IOs. So just let it do it. For today's project, we are going to use text generator we have. It's an ASIC4 compatible controllable uh, text generator that can select the resolution of the output and select the color bar positions. We are going to use eight of this text generator and add one general video marks to select one of them to output to the HDMI port. So we just copy, some more here. It appears all on this one. And then we add one video marks that can select one of the eight. The video marks is configurable from two to eight channel and it can be controlled via pin control from the logic or via ASIC register. So we can increase the number of maximum channel to eight, include the AC interface. Now we can connect all the text generator to the video marks. The interface is Xilinx standard video IO. So when it appear, it can be connected to each other. So let the interface flash and reorganize. Right now, the Vibato tool can make the offer that it will auto connect all the ACID devices outside of the Zing. So we select all of the text generator and the mux all controlled by the Zing ASIC bus. Now it looks like this. Before we have the actual video output, we need the clock to drive the text generator and the video marks. So we add the clock wizard and configure the clock wizard to drive the blocks. 
we are going to use the system clock from the real board and today's demo we will show 720p60 so we will need the pixel clock to be 74.25 meg now Vivado can auto connect this clock and reset from the board's pin you can select the clock from the system differential clock and the reset from the FPGA reset the clock output can drive all the text gens The MUX is also on the same clock domain. And the reset also can reset all the Max and texture. For the purpose of the output, we will need to use the HDMI encoder on the Zing 706. The output pins are standard video interface. Previously, we created the Zing video interface to pack the pins to the IOB. So we can input this module and use it in the block design. The module also comes with one constraint files, we can add it too. Which define all the pins on the board. So with this module, we can add it at the file output. and the clock is in the same clock domain now we can create some pins to map to the Zing 706 board The Zing system is used here to configure the uh, I square C on the HDMI output encoder. So let the GUI flash and we can see very clean block diagrams. We can verify the design. 
So there's no errors and warning messages in this design. So we can save and output this block diagram. Generate some output products of it. So once all the output products are generated, we can use the wrapper of this block design as the top file of the project. It's located inside the block design folder. You can see the wrapper include all the Zing fixed IOs and HDMI and the reset and system clocks. Now from here, the hardware design part is finished. We can create a bit stream from here. Now the bitstream is generated, we can export the hardware to a subfolder for the writers to use as the platform workplace. From the tool, we can launch the writers. We create a platform project for the Zing. We use the export file from the hardware. Widers can also create a boot image from this platform. On top of the Zing platform, we will create one application that controls the marks and the text gen. We select the platform we just created. From here, White has created the demo Hello World C, but we're going to use this as the container and put our own code there. We have some text gen control driver and the HDMI drivers for I for I square C control. For demo purpose, we're going to offset each of the text gen the color bar position. Here in the code, when we generate the text gen initialization, we can offset all the color bar generators the top and left position for 20 pixels. Now go back to whitest, refresh and generate the project. Once this is done, we can generate the boot image to be loaded into the ZC706 board. We will write into the flash, so we are going to generate the MCS file. White has already structured the boot image as the platform, the bitstream for the FPGA and the application. The boot image is located under the IDE folder. We will also need the first boot section. when we program the flash. Now we can use the JTAG tool to program the flash on the ZC706 port. We add the QSPI flash to this FPGA. It's QSPI by 8 dual parallel, one point able.
Once the programming is done, we can power cycle the board and let it put from the fresh. As you can see, the 8 text generator is already configured. Now we can configure the HDMI to make the output. So the color bar is there on the first generator. We can select the second generator, third generator, and so on. So that's it for today's demo, hope you enjoy and see you next time.